right now this is our torpedo plant and we're putting um, a couple hundred seeds in this yeah and explain how this works this is a self-contained unit and we're going to put like 200 seeds into it i don't know if we can see it or not this is we have uh we're gonna have like 16 units to one more uh one water spigot and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do each one and you don't have to uh i think it comes out one minute per hour right Right, actually a lot of it comes out one minute per three hours. One minute per three hours? Yeah. Okay, so right now we're planting the seeds in each hole. And how many seeds do you think we get per unit? It depends on the kind. With yeah. lettuce seeds we can get about three, a lot of hundreds of seeds. Three hundred? A couple hundred, a, couple a bunch hundred. of hundreds. And hey, this is Melissa, she is my... Uh, She's my, uh, she's not my assistant. You are my, um... I'm his assistant in this case. In this case. She's in, she's in charge. I'm not in charge. Okay, yeah. and this is, uh, we started this a couple... She's couple. never in charge. This is melons? What is this? Uh, melons. Melons. And right now, these are the carrots. We started the carrots, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, uh, three weeks ago. Or a month ago. A month ago? Yeah. We put like a hundred carrots into it. Keep in mind, the w everything is attached by the water. So the idea is to get every single one attached by the water. So one, two, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's eleven, so I would say it's about four feet by ten feet. What's four feet by ten feet? Four feet by ten That's feet. forty square feet. Right? Yeah. So we have a... So right now, what are you doing right now? This is lettuce. This is lettuce. Oh, but we're doing two lettuces, right? Yeah. Okay. We're doing two lettuces. Yeah. Keep in mind, this is self-contained. I don't do anything. Shout out to Daryl from interpreterbot.com. He invented this. And right now, we're just taking a... Our goal is to... Not for me so much as for you to realize that you don't need much space in order to grow your own food. Torpedopuck.com, they have the prices. These two, we planted strawberries. It's maybe about two weeks ago, just coming up. Look at that. And we're also going to plant maybe 100 seeds around. Same thing here, we planted strawberries. We're going to plant 100 seeds around. Right now, these are our tomatoes. We planted uh, six of them, and we planted them, they were dead. And uh, they're coming back alive. And we're gonna plant uh, seeds. I'm not sure we're gonna plant in there. This is our, look at, look how great that looks. We planted 300 feet in there. And we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the orange tree. That's the lemon tree. Look at that. See, see, see a little, is that a lemon? No. Ah, oh, there it is. It's a little lemon. And we can pour more dirt in here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and uh, two feet by about 10 feet. So that's 20, 20 square feet. 60 square feet total. That's like thousands of fruits and veggies and we're doing it. This is fig trees, this is big tree, fig trees and, and beets together, planting them together. Those, we're gonna plant seeds around. Let's see the rest of the garden. We did, um, getting ready for all the plants. Uh, this is, we started, we got 15 of blueberries bushes and we planted them. Over here the cucumber season is over. So we're starting another cucumber. Kale season. Our potato crop was really good. But for whatever reason we we, we took it out. Got maybe a 15, 20 pounds of potatoes, maybe 30 pounds. And something came back. I don't know how that works, but something's coming back. 
all this was empty and it's coming back. Anyway, this is it. Live from my house with the uh, torpedopot.com. That's where we're doing it. Bye.